If you draw or model any element on Autonomous Revit, you will see there are so many parameters associated with that element. For example, I am drawing a duct here DT and here this is. Now when we will click this duct, we will see in this properties browser, there are so many parameters. These are instance parameters and when we click on edit type, you will find there are so many type parameters. Same things we can find on different elements no matter that is duct or conduit or pipe or any family. So how can we see all the parameters of any element at once? And yes, this is possible using Dynamo. So, so I'm exiting from here and opening Dynamo. Go to the manage tab and click Dynamo. It will take some time. So before that, there are so many videos already available on Revit Trees and Tricks, Revit Family and Revit Tutorial. So if this channel is relevant to you, you can subscribe this channel. And in future, we are going to upload many more videos on Revit Tips and Tricks, Revit Family, Revit Tutorial and Dynamo. So let's back to the topic again. Here, this is the first interface of Dynamo. I'm just clicking on new. To see all the parameters, we need two nodes. One is for selecting elements and one is for getting the parameters. So we are searching here for the node. So go to the library and go to Revit and first go to selection here you will see select model element this one this is our first node which will require and second node we will require that that is we have to go to the elements and here in element there is in query if you drop down more you will find their parameter so only these two nodes are needed for this and you can also search these nodes by just typing this for this you have to go to the top of this library and here you can search just type here select model element here the first one same search button you will find by clicking the mouse rise button on your screen and here you can type the same you will find the same note now remove this one note this is not needed now delete now in this note element selection is input and element is output and in this note element is input and parameter is output so so using first note we can select any element for dynamo just simply click on select and go to revit and click on this duct and go to the dynamo again see we get one element id and that is for duct and just pin it and if you want to check this id is the same or not you can also check this by going to revit just minimize this dynamo click this revit and go to manage tab and here ids of selection see 7 to 2 1 to 5 okay and go to dynamo here the same id now full screen this and here you can see run completed and this is set as automatic I prefer it to be set as manual so that I can run it manually when I want now for the second node element is input and this element will come from here just connect this and run see there is no error and when we will click this auto you will see there is a list and just pin it you can see there are so many parameters for that duct so using only these two nodes you can see all the parameters of any elements in next video we will see different storage types of these elements so if this video is helpful to you please like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel